Good morning guys. I woke up today hearing an atrocious rumor. By the way, I am on my way up to that hill over there. But before I do trek up there to see some ancient ruins, I uh, rumor had it, oh now it's ending, rumor had it that this morning Jeff's mama was putting out for pennies. And uh, hey, you just met Jeff's mom? <laughs> mama Jeff. Mama Jeff? Yama? Oh, okay. How much did you pay? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. All right. Gracias. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeff, have you no Jeff's mom? Do you have you no dignity? You're worth more than that. Should be a hundred. Hola. <laughs> Como esta? Bien. Mama Jeff, how are you? I'm back. Can't believe you're out here just on the streets for ten. Uh... <laughs> wow, it's so nice. It's beautiful. Hey there. Mm. Yes. <laughs> hey, I know your I know your son. Usted llama? Usted? Alpaca. Alpaca. Sí, alpaca. Oh wow, it's an alpaca. Sí. Didn't know that uh, that Jeff was a crossbreed. Okay. Should we should we help her out? <laughs> this is uh, such you one this way. They can go into a place I can't pronounce. But anyway, let's help her out. Uh, you made this one? Why why are you why is why is every Yama or Alpaca I meet in, in a pride parade? Very confusing. Alright. Quanto? Quanto? Propina. Buena propina. Buena propina. Okay. Take care. Take care of uh, Jeff's mama. You know, she doesn't have to be out here. It's getting late. You know, you're better than this. Go home. Ah. Well, all right. Bye bye. Well, I guess sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. She obviously hit a rough patch. Maybe she's mourning Jeff. So am I. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I do have my. I put my, my shirt here as I came up these stairs. Anyway, I am on my way to some ruins. This is one of those scenes I don't know if I can get away with. Uh, if it's unrelated or whatever. Oh, she's going, she's going. Hope she, hope she takes Mama Jeff home. Okay, up and beyond. Wow, so I just, I passed through a gate down there. And of course, it's a guy standing there turning tourists away. Man, I'm pissed off. <laughs> but I don't feel like getting into a fight like in Florence. At least not now, until I've seen the ruins, which are up there. Anyway, back down there, there's a guy who stands there, who says that it's closed. And you have to walk 20 minutes around to buy your ticket. Of course, conveniently, he wants to sell you a car to go there and so on. But uh, don't believe them. Just walked past the gate. I told him, do what you want. I'm going to walk. And he did nothing. I might film it on the way back. But then I'm going to be cutting into someone's hustle again. And yeah. Seeing as I'm not about to leave anytime soon. I'm not sure I want to do that now. But we'll see. Almost there. Okay, almost here. Jeff's whole family is here. But I'm gonna ask the ticket counter what they say about the scammers at their entrance down there. Let's see. Hi. Let's see. Comunicado. Hola, un billet. Hola. You speak English? Yes. Down there on this road. You see this road down there? Yes. There is a man who tells that that entrance is closed. Which? I just came from there, that entrance. Yeah. And there's a group of men down there who tells tourists that that entrance is closed and that they have to buy a car ticket and a tour from him. Is it closed? It's not closed, I just walked through. Uh, yeah. I mean, you should know, this is your site, right? Yes. So this is the ticket place. Yes. And this path is not closed. No. So he's lying. Yes. Okay, maybe you should 
do something about that. <laughs> anyway, uno bilet por favor. Just for today or the big one ticket? Just for one today. Yeah, it's 70 songs. Okay. Uh, the federal reserves. So you don't really care about that guy who says that your your entrance is closed? That's fine? Uh, this park, the close is... Okay, there's no problem. I understand. Yeah. You don't want to deal with it. Do you have 10 songs more, please? Yes, maybe. There we go. Muchas gracias. Please don't lose the ticket, okay? Write down your name. This is the small mark. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right? All right. Which is it, one? This is mine? Okay. Yes. No, you yeah, no. had the same problem. Well. Oh, you had the same problem? Yeah, but yeah. you just went through? Uh, when we saw you, oh, you saw me? I did it. They All right. To, they tried to get us to walk. I'm the enemy of all scammers. I think he. Um, yeah, same. I think he was trying to get a taxi ride. He was trying to get a ride. As I stood there, he turned so many people away, yeah, and no, I just no. thought to myself, this can't be at this yeah, site. No yeah, way. Yeah. You know. But I'm going to go down there with my camera, and I'm going to get in his face as I leave, and then yeah. we'll see what happens. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not on. No. All right. Thanks for verifying. Yeah. If people don't That's think I'm making shit up. Thanks. Show me, please. Hey. Ah, oh, tickets, okay. Yes. She's you your tickets. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, so you work here, right? Yes. There is a guy down there who tells tourists that the entrance is closed. And he tries to sell a, a car ticket and a tour, and he turned many people away. So many tourists walked away because he says, he stands at the entrance with his friends, and he says that, uh, that this entrance is closed. And you have to walk 20 minutes around the mountain, he say, if you want to come in here. So this is your official entrance. I just think it's very bad for your site and tourism. Those people so. is informal. Yes, but, but he acts like he's formal. Yeah, and we tourists, I, uh, how can I know? I asked for his ID, he couldn't show me. So then right. I said, okay, you're lying. But he's standing right there right now. And everyone in the shops down there too are in on it and they will back up what he says. This is from so the guys is like we have like a This is the the real guide. Yes. Oh, okay, so you're a real guide. Yes, I'm a real guide. Oh, okay, okay. That, awesome. that, was, that, that was guys man. Okay. It's informal. Okay, good. I hope yeah. I hope they stop him. Yeah, he's you know. communicate but it's not that is good. Yeah, but it's very easy to just have some guy down there at the ticket office, right? Yeah. yeah. So okay. So maybe do you want information about these places? Yes, I do, I do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're an official guide, all yeah, right, all right. Yeah. What do you charge for that then? It's like, a, let me, please. Yeah. Do you want a short tour or do you want a longest tour, depending? Uh, I don't know, I want to know a little bit about this site. I want to make, make a little filming, walking up on this, you know, talk yes. about the history of this. Maybe, I don't know, how long are your tours? Uh, longest tour is one hour and a half. Uh -huh, and then short tour? Normally like 45 minutes. 45, how much is 45 minutes? It's like 50 solis. 50 solis. Yes. That's a deal, okay. Okay? Yes. Let's do it. All right. Okay, please. We have a guide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I, can I just say that? Uh, the alpacas? Yes, the alpacas. Okay. Yeah. I think it's Jeff's family. Ah, oh, they're not, is this the entrance? Do we go through here? Or are we coming out here? No, we go, you, okay, we're, we're back for this way. You're back for this way. I'm but coming back here? Yes. I'll do that after then. Yes. Okay, okay. So now we're standing over there. Okay. Because I need to show the Incas tunnels, catacombs. Okay. With this nice view. Oh. All right, so I'll turn the camera back on later on when we when we have some proper information. Yeah. See you then. Yeah. He okay. says to follow him into this dark alley. Okay, yeah. So I'm putting a lot of trust yeah. in you yeah. here. Watch your head. I will. Yeah. We Okay, down I'll go down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to touch my button, if I touch your bottom, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And Strange request, but okay. Well, I guess it gets really dark in here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we do a small adventure. So what, what kind of is this a man-made tunnel? Yeah. It's a, it was carved by Ingas. It's natural, not natural formation. Damn, I see nothing now. Oh yeah. No. If I didn't grab onto your bum, I would be lost. <laughs> Good thing that I can grab onto it. Yeah. Are you okay? For, for more than one reason. Are you okay? Yes. Okay, just... <laughs> <laughs> so what's the name of this uh, site? It's Sakwayam? Saksaywaman. Saksaywaman. Saksaywaman, yeah. <laughs> and it's from before the Incas, right? No, not before. It's not before? No, the Inca, this is the 15th century. The 15th century? Yeah. But what about those stones out there? So, so can you repeat, please? What about the stones out there? I thought they are older than the Incas. Okay, here we are. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whoa. Yeah, I see light. 
I see light too. Yeah. It was raining a lot today. Oh yeah. So then it's collapsed with rain. So with earthquakes this time. So yeah. this this what was this for? This tunnel? Do you know? I I know. You know? Yeah, it's coming outside. All right. Yeah yeah. Don't worry. Be careful. <laughs> Always careful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. Harold Careful Boulder is my middle name. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We survived the dark alley with a strange man. Not completely, not entirely unmolested, but okay. Whew. This almost looks like a like a forum. Yeah. Like an amphitheater. Yeah, it's the same, but that was the amphitheater. <laughs> so look at that, and that way. Look in the wood. Say so like a kocha. Can you see in the it wood? It says kocha, kocha, yes. What does it mean, the kocha? So it's like a reservoir. A reservoir? Yes. For water? Yes. So this was a water cistern? Yes. For the city? Yes, exactly. Wow, that's You're cool. You're very smart. <laughs> well, <laughs> it wasn't that difficult a guess, but... <laughs> and then the, 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 the tunnel was for drainage. Did that, um, did that water then lead all the way down to the city? Yes. And it was for, for drinking or for...? For drinking, for irrigation, for farming. Wow, that's great. Yes. Built by the Incas. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes. So what happened here? Now, look. Look around here. The small stone is not original. It's restored. I see. Because Sacsayhuaman, it, it was destroyed by Spanish 80%. Just now. The Spanish? Around, yeah, by Spanish. Damn you, Spanish, again? Yes. Just like a fine, oh. like a 20% original. The other one, 80%. 20%. Of, yeah, the 80% was destroyed by Spanish. Wow. Yeah, everything. Just now, looking around here, just fine. So, so they didn't see the need to use this as a water? Yes. Uh, they didn't see the need for that, the Spanish? Yeah, for nothing. For not okay. Yes. How did they get water then? So they bore the, from the mountain. The Incas. Yeah. Six kilometers from, from the mountain, they brought for instance from the aqueduct. That was the Incas? Yes. And what about the Spanish, since they destroyed this? But they used it for nothing. They, but they, when, they, when the Spanish came here, so they used like a, the different spring water. They, they found used. a different water source? The, yes. Okay. Yeah. But the Incas, uh, the Incas, for the Incas palaces or the Incas uh, religious palaces, religious Places they now use for nothing, they destroy everything. But then they know want to continue more the Incas, or they they know want to practice more the Incas religions, the Incas castles, nothing. They wanted to uh, to end all that, yeah, yes, yeah. to vanquish the Inca religion and all the the, the culture, the history. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes. So no, he he said he could teach me some Quechon. Quechua. Quechua. And Quechua. So you, you is that your first language? Yes. Quechua. Yes. And. Uh, Spanish is the second. Yes, my second. Okay, so how would you say water in Quechua? Cocha. It's the Cocha. Yes. And water reservoir. Re reservoir? Yes. So Cocha means water or water reservoir? Reservoir. 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 It means the... Okay. Cocha. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. My first Cocha lesson is not... I need to start paying attention. Yeah. Not ask about things. It's already told me about... <laughs> Uh, okay, how would you say hombre, man? Yeah, in Kari. 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 The woman say like war, warmi, Kari. And woman? K warmi. 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 So what, what is Quechua language similar to? Is, uh, is, it, is it just a very unique language? There is no languages similar to this? Uh, similar to like uh, Japanese. To Japanese? Yes. In the sounds, in the yeah, yes, in the sound. Wow. So, like for example, like uh, Japanese, like you say uma, uma is, is say uma means in Japanese is horses, horses. A, a horse, horses. Yeah. yeah. And uma means in Quechua is head. Oh wow. You understand? Yeah. Same. Uma uma. That is very strange. Yeah yeah. yeah. Huh. <laughs> so you speak Japanese too then? Uh, for me, it's easy to learn. You understand? Yes. If you see, if you want to learn, yeah. you think you can pronounce the words very easily and so on. Exactly. Yeah. So like a, so natural. Wa no, it's not water slide. There's no, no water, no, no. so it's a slide. Yeah, it's a natural slide. Though. Is it only for kids, or can an adult like me do it too? It's just the same. So dependent. You want to slide down here? Yes. Where do I go? I go up there. That way. Up right here. So let me guess. In Quechua, you say suchuna. Yes. Suchuna means like a slide down. Okay, so I want to try this suchuna. Okay. How would I say that in Quechua? 
Suchuna. I want to try this Suchuna. <laughs> I'm going to try the whole sentence. In, in Quechua? Yeah, in Quechua. Noca, noca suchimusa. No, noca, noca suchimusa. 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 Okay. Yeah, go. Let, let's go. That way. It looks careful. like they're having so much fun. Yeah, so be careful with your camera. No problem. Okay. It's not the first dam. Damn you, Tim K. You know that these trekking shoes are the most slippery shoes I've ever worn. Never wearing trekking shoes ever again. Well, there's a queue. Look at that man. Effortlessly walks up here whilst I have to lean forward because I'm in trekking shoes. You first. Show me how, show me how it's done. Oh, after them. Okay, we're in a race. I'll catch up with this man. Come on. Oh, bye bye. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they thought I was going to go in there. <laughs> that was pretty close. Yeah. I won though. Yeah, it was very close. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. It's not the first slide I've been on. <laughs> this is the oldest part, right? Yes, yes. So now let me show you here, so the my attractions. So all this is like in my attraction there, about the Saxe woman. And then we find here a huge rock. Like now what is Saxe woman? What does that mean? Saxay woman means say like a saxay, say like a satisfy. It means to satisfy? Yeah, satisfy. And what meaning? What, what? Woman is hawk. You know hawk? Yes. Satisfy is hawk. Saxay woman means. It means satisfy with hug? Satisfies hawk. Satisfies hug. Hug, hug. You know hug? A hog or a hug? Hug. No, a, no, no. A hug? Hug. No, 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 no. Or, or, a, or, a, or a hog. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you know, like a hawk. You know hawk. I don't know what a hawk is. Hawk. It's like a falcon. A hawk. Oh, yes, falcon yes, yes. Hawk. Oh, I now understand. <laughs> he means a hawk. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I kind of I, I thought that was my, my uh, entry to make a move with a hog, but okay. Yeah. That was re <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. Oh, okay. It means like a hawk. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's really nice. it's hawk. And when people say that, do they're like, ah, oh, hawk, they understand right away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just me that, that don't understand? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm not too bright. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so it, so, and, and this, how old is this site? It's the 15th century. This is from the 15th century yes, also? Yes, yes. So it's not from before Inca? No. The Inca built this? Yes, in 15th century. Oh, wow. started building in 15th century. It was built by the, these kings, Pachacute. 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 He sounds like a he real was, man. Yeah, he was a maximum leader. He was king in 15th century. I see. Just like a hundred years before being to Spanish. Can you see from here the Incas building in zigzag shape? Can you see? Like in zigzag shape? You're right. Yeah. So what was these places? Um, Why building in a zigzag uh, shape? I do not know. A fortification? No. So remember, just like it was the temple, just what the worship places. So maybe you know the Incas, so by Incas, what was the, the economic power by, by Incas, you know? Uh, Incas I do not know their, their uh, economy, no. A ver, you, you think? Think. Well, I think um, agriculture, uh, animals. It was agriculture. Okay. Yes, but... Why they build it in zigzag shape? I do not know. Because they build it in honor of uh, this lightning god. Thor from Norway? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> huh. Didn't know that he held See. sway down here. Well done, Thor. <laughs> Your reach, uh, yeah, it's beyond what I thought. Okay. So, so like it, they build it in lightning shape. Can you see? Ah, oh, I see. That's where. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we can walk up there later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like in lightning shape. Can you see? Yes, I see it. Right? Why? To honor Thor? No. <laughs> so because what's a special god? So like, so the lightning, this lightning by Incas, well, what's a special god? They consider like the lightning god bring rain, the rain, the rain bring prosperity like food. You understand? I see. 
when it's lightning, when it's raining, it's, it's, it fertilizes the, the soil and all that. And yes, for growing. Or, yeah. Right? Exactly. Yes. So and this was a, a way to kind of um, honor the rain gods? Yes, yes. So they pray here, they worship for bring the lightning, the lightning bring rain, and the rain bring prosperity. A good harvest. Rain. Exactly. Wow. The worship place was like this flat side. The people came here for celebration, different festivities, or they pray here at different gods, the Incas. Amazing. Yeah. So before it was much taller, so I had 15 meters. 15 meters, just this wall here? Yes. How, how tall is it now? Uh, nine, maximum nine. Nine? Yes. It's nine. Before it was 15 meters. One, two, three. Three levels. And did you have other structures here as well, on top? Yeah, here, they were there watch houses, tower. temples? No, 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 watchtower. A watchtower. I have here, so before was like this one. For, for um, like a defensive structure? Yes, for security, for protecting this temple. I have here, the, so how was before, it's actually one with before destroyed by Spaniards, for example, I have here. Yeah, look like this one. Can you see? Wow, yes. Yeah. And the top, they build a watchtower. Three watchtower. One, two, three. <laughs> We're saying bye-bye to the guide. And okay. I'm going to take bye over the friends. tour. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to show you where um, the Spanish actually laid siege to this because the, the Incas used to use this as a fortress. I know that history myself, so I can do that myself. Yes. O all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much as well. Come good, back soon. Good. Yes, I will. Good luck with the guiding and everything. Thank you so much. And there we go. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, amigo. Thank you so much. Amigo. Oh, Harold. Harold. Yes. Harold. Son of Thor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see you, my friend. All right. See you. Have a good luck with the guiding and everything. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye, yeah. my friend. All, All right. right. So you wanna go up to... I'm going to go there, but first I'm going to talk about the Sun yes. Gate. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. So, I, in my other videos, I spoke a little bit about how the Spanish basically were able to conquer Cusco, which was the Inca's home base, unopposed. Uh, there was a, a mega skirmish, a rather big battle on the outskirts of Cusco, which is on the other side of this, um, of this uh, structure, which he, to which he told us was used as a temple and a prayer site. But as the Incas rebelled under Manco, the brother of Paulo. Paulo was the, the puppet Inca that the Spanish had installed here, but his brother Manco, he um, uh, um, was able to, damn, what's the word? He was able to inspire a, all the other tribes here, even tribes that the Incas had conquered to rise up against the Spanish. And they were almost able to conquer all of Cusco and they were able to to um, the Spanish basically just held uh, Plasta de Armas and a couple of buildings around there and then the Incas and their allies held everything else. But after a couple of weeks the Spanish with their tercios, thank you to the person who commented uh, with that word, um, their cavalry rode out from Plaza de Armas up here. And they realized we're going to have to take back this fortification because the Incas had turned this into a fort. And the brother of Francisco Pesaro uh, led uh, that battle, but he was killed during the siege of what, was, what had then become a fort. And I think he was Hernando Pesaro. Uh, I may get the first name wrong. I will look that up. But, but uh, one of the Pesaros was then killed right here on this spot in front of the Sun Gate. But eventually, the Spanish were able to take back this fort. Yeah. Well, some strange sounds coming up from here. What are you guys up to? Ecuador. You speak English? Yes. Ah, from Ecuador? Yes. Well, there's many people telling me that I should go to Ecuador after Peru. Yes. Yeah, it's better. It's better. It's better? Yeah. What's better? All the country. The cebollado. Everything? Yeah. Food? The cebollado is the best. You have many tourists? Yes. Oh, yes. I don't like that. I would like to be the only tourist. <laughs> so it's not better? No. <laughs> I'm joking with you guys. You guys here on, on a school holiday? Or? Yes. No. No? We are from 
Yeah, it's a school trip. Yeah. A school trip? Yes. We have to study. You have to study here. So you're, you're telling me you are here against your will. You don't want to be here. You want to be in Ecuador. No, we no. want to be here. And also, we have to make a, like a little project for the IB program. Ah, what are you studying? Leadership. No, no. Anthropology. Anthropology. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. This is a great place then. Yes. yes. Okay. Enjoy, guys. I'm going to have to continue Thank my vlog. Bye bye. 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 Wow. Does everyone in Ecuador speak English like you? Yes. Or is it just you guys? All the people. All right. I'm going to Ecuador. Okay. Bye. bye bye. Very impressed if that is the, the English level. Uh, Hold on, I'm obviously going to jump this one so I can show you the zigzag pad pattern here. Or this lightning wall, as he called it. Well, you can kind of see it from here. So, you see? And then it zigzags around. Uh oh, I'm getting yelled out. Hey there, how are you? <laughs> I told you they always have these people who tell you where you can and cannot go here. Now you have to appreciate, so, so this guy, he said it's the Incas that built this. And there was nothing here before the Incas turned this into a religious site as a prayer place for water. Now I'm sure there will be plenty of people in the comment section who say, oh no, it was built by giants and all that stuff, but okay, you can debate that thing, those things. Uh, I don't know anything about that and it doesn't sound very credible either, but you have to appreciate the the uh, ingenuity of, of putting these stones together because they have to fit before you place them here. So I assume it involves a lot of uh, cutting and then even taking them down and cutting them again and so on. If I'm wrong let me uh, let me hear all the theories in the comment section, but that is what I read. All right, this way it says. By the way, if battery life permits, I am going to go. Well, actually, no, because this place closes in half an hour, so it makes no sense for those guys to stand at the entrance and say that it is closed. But I can go back there tomorrow with the sole purpose of exposing that scam. So that tourists are not are not uh, discouraged from from visiting this site. I mean, what a joke! I can't believe that they that they allow that to to go on in a, a place like this that lives on on tourism. We're reaching the summit, which in Quechua may be called no Cruz Moco. Maybe that means lookout. I don't know. We will find out. So when this is Cusco and when the Incas more or less took back the whole city apart from the downtown Plaza de Armas, the main square, I'm not sure if I've shown you that in a video or not, but I can do that now as I live on that square. That was all that the Spanish held and they were huddled together there because uh, 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 Pizarro had sent a huge expedition down to Chile to conquer uh, Chile and look for gold. So they just they were only left with 20 cavalry and just 70 or 80 uh, Spanish uh, uh, swordsmen uh, or foot soldiers in, in this little square. Oh, you can see it down there. It's that little square down there. Everything else here, all the hillsides, which is lit up at night with Incas, um, uh, bonfires all over, all over these hills. And um, that is after weeks of that and almost starving to death. That's when Pizarro decided we're going to have to take back this height, regain control because we don't know when we're going to get help. So they were, they were on the brink of actually losing and, and uh, seeing as they didn't, that, that, was kind, that was kind of it. Manco, he, he raised um, rebellions in the future, but they never came as close as that time when they, when they almost conquered or took back Cusco because all of this here, all the hills and the whole city was in Inca hands and the Spaniards were just huddled together in that tiny little square. Uh, if you're wondering where those big stones come from, 
uh, that that they um, that uh, that formed that lightning formation. The guide told me that the quarries are up there, back o across that mountain. Uh, so they they rolled those those big stones down. Some of them weighing ridiculous uh, amounts. I think I showed you the biggest one back there. Uh, using the same method as the Egyptians, he told me. Lightning this way. Exit. Entrada. Okay. Alternate entry. Well, then we try the alternate entry then. I. Is it Saldado? Salaid? I don't actually know how to say exit in Spanish, so that's why I asked them if this is the entry. Because if it's an entry, that means it's also an exit. Whoa! Secret footpath! With no tripwire! Harold investigates! Oh! Damn you, Tim K, and your trekking shoes! This might be one of the shortest Harold investigates in history because it's, it doesn't look like there's uh, hmm yeah now I see why it's closed off because it's not not closed off because there's nothing so investigation inconclusive oh Jesus I think they may have been telling me fairy tales. I do not see an exit or entry here. So I'm probably gonna have to go back. Unless... Oh, but anyway, here... Well, what I showed you actually up there, which probably you can't see anyway because of this wide-angle lens, was not Plaza de Armas. This is Plaza de Armas. So, see those two churches there? Uh, so this little quarter here, that was all the Spanish had left once the Manco Inca had, had rallied the, uh, the tribes and, uh, and, and, and mustered basically how many was... I don't remember off the top of my head. Some ridiculous amount of soldiers again, like 60,000, 70,000 to, to counterattack. And they, they held everything here, apart from that little square there and some buildings around it. And pretty much most of the city was destroyed. Ah, so this is that cross I see from my hotel. But Harold! Why are you showing your face when you can be showing us the view? Okay. Happy? Just to show you how big these stones are. Now, I seem to remember something from a book I read. That these stones, but I don't know if it was these stones or the stones down in the city. But as the Spanish conquistadors spoke to the uh, the Incas here after they'd conquered it, apparently I seem to remember that a lot of those the Incas told the Spanish that they did not build these. Uh, but I. I can't say that conclusively because I don't remember if that was in reference to some other stone structures downtown or if it's these ones. But anyway, the guide said that this was made by the Incas and it does not predate them. Again, all these stones were rolled down from that second hill you see over there. That's where the quarry is. As I'm leaving this site here, there are many vendors selling interesting things. This one. It's very beautiful. It's the quartz, and this one is the serpentine stone to Machu Picchu. And this is quartz? Yeah, and this one And the black one? It's serpentine ah. stone. Serpentine stone. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Five soles, cinco soles. Okay, I'll have two. Okay. Uno, dos. 
no like the puma sir. The puma? Yeah, the puma is the Cuscoma. Hold and you. No, I like the necklaces. I'm going to send these to, to people. It's made of stone, sir. I have in this one the natural Only one. Only these two. Okay. Then the trilogy. Listen, only two, only two, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the Inca calendar. I guess you're very happy because I didn't bargain. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful, this is for you guys. Can we have another one? This one's a little broken. You see? It's no problem. Look at that. Do you have another one? Yes, but can we have another one? It's a little broken. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. What other treasures do they have here? What are you buying? Or what are you selling? Hmm, let me see. They're very beautiful. Yeah. But the Agata blue. Agata blue? Yeah, there's one. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Fifteen soles. Fifteen soles? Yeah. What about diez soles? Okay, ten soles. Ten soles? Okay. Oh wow. And this one? Only one. Solo uno. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is turning into quite a shopping trip. Diez soles. No, thank you. I already have necklaces. Two colors. No, thank you. Oh, wow, that is very unique. Snake, puma, and condo. This is cheaper. How much is that one? It's 60 soles. 60 soles or no? That is muy, natural. Muy caro. Señor, es natural. I'm sure es it's piedra. natural, but it's also caro. <laughs> no, no, bye bye. How much do you pay? I'm going to say hello to Jeff now. Jeff's family. A family of llamas. Let's get the. Uh, wow. Maybe we can give give Jeff a little necklace. Hey. Hola. What's the name? Well, does she want to wear my necklace? Here? Here? Oh, que lindo. Beautiful. Oh, you like that? <laughs> Look at that. Yes, now you have a beautiful necklace. Hey, can I hold him? Let me try to hold him. Whoa. Come to Papa. See? Si. Si? Si. Okay. How do you hold this thing? Wow, there we go. Look at that. With your beautiful necklace. Hey. Do you like that? Do you miss Jeff? Do you miss Jeff? Oh, you have a nice hat. Jeff has a hat too. But it's for, to protect for the sun, it's not for the heat. Wow. Oh, I think he misses a mama. <laughs> Keep it, keep the necklace. I'm sure they're just gonna sell it sell it on, but hold on, hold on. Propina, si si si. Buena propino. Que bueno. What what what's a bueno propina? Veinte soles? <laughs> alright, alright. No, 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 no. I have to keep it on. Okay. I'll be back tomorrow. You better be wearing your necklace. <laughs> bye bye. As soon as I'm around the bend here, I suspect the necklace is on. But if she for some reason decides to, to uh, keep the necklace on, that's fun. Hopefully people will come for, for selfies and so on. Well, yes, now I'm signing off. Unless that scammer is at the gate, then I'm signing on. Okay, so here we go. This is the entrance. If you type in Saksai Waman in Google Maps, this is the entrance that it will lead you to. And this is where, so this gate was open just like now when I entered. And that guy is not here now, but there was a guy standing there saying that now it's closed and you have to go another 20 minutes to another entrance or buy a tour ticket from him for 80 plus his car or whatever. Uh, so yeah, don't listen to people in Peru when they say that. It's very, very sad actually that that they have that. Um, yeah, I guess you must you can kind of say it's, an, it's what happens when tourism becomes somewhat advanced and the locals realize how gullible and dumb tourists are because we'll listen to any man who looks local and, and 
you know, tells you that something is closed. But they do the same thing in Asia, all over the place. But this is this is where he was standing, right at the entrance there. And oh no, this is devastating. Coming back down from the mountain, uh, Jeff's mom is still here. In an even worse alley than before. Times must be rough. Hopefully she'll have another Jeff. And that Jeff won't die. He'll become rich and wealthy. And be able to pamper his mama. So she can retire in a llama. Uh, yeah, where do llamas go when they're old? I don't know. Well, hello there. Are you coming to see friend of dog? Enemy of horse, which was another moniker that some people added yesterday. Let's see. Hey guys. Nope. This is the path straight back to Plaza de Armas. Coming back down here now to the Plaza de Armas, as you can see, is uh, right here. But I wanted to turn the camera on a little earlier because there is a great museum that if you are in Cusco, you should go and visit. Uh, whenever I'm in a city, I always check out as many history museums as I can find. Why don't I film them? Well, uh, people have no interest in it. And my channel actually goes down in overall views whenever I do. But it's right here, the uh, Museo Inca. And it's open till, till, uh, hold on. It's open, hello. It's open till... Okay, I just want to show this one, the statue. Uh, um, and I also remember there actually is no filming in here. That's what they told me. But I wouldn't have filmed in here anyway. Because people don't appreciate museums. But uh, this is where it's at. And I highly recommend a visit. It was pretty good. And it shows you a lot about the civilizations that were here prior to the Incas as well. And they also have some women sitting in there weaving. Showing you how they make their goods that are on sale in, in shops like this. But, as I've said, this video is about to end. People just find it so interesting that I talk to the camera. <laughs> oh, like this. This is how you make the... Do you make this one? Si. From this one? Wow. No. No tengo tiempo. No time. <laughs> I think I tried to say I don't have time, but... Hola! No, I already have that one. Oh, do wish I could buy from everyone, but it's physically bye. impossible. Bye-bye. <laughs> Enjoy. Now, we're going to end it down here on Plaza de Armas. Actually, I'm not sure if we will end it here, because I have some footage. I have some footage from a festival that was here two weeks ago. Um, I guess I can throw in some of that here to show you a little bit. This is quite festive, as I think I said up there on this square. There's almost there's a marching band. There's almost something happening every day, especially on the weekends. But uh, I have some footage from that church in there, which was absolutely fantastic. There's, uh, there's another one over there. I don't think I filmed anything in there. But uh, yeah, I might as well end the vlog there. And also reiterate that this is where the Spanish were kind of squished in when Manco Inca rebelled. And this is where they then rode up to, to that uh, religious site, come fortress, where the Incas held sway uh, up there. And that's where the once that fell, the Spanish were able to reconquer the city. So let's go inside that church with my old footage. Signing off.
nighttime video here for you guys. Some kind of festival going on. Some people telling me about Jesus. Uh, others say it's a wedding. I don't know what's going on. But I assume they're going to light these things right here on fire at some stage. I'll give you a closer look. And that all of this will be lit up in front of the church. I assume. But time will tell. Either way, I'm going to hang out here until something happens. There's a lot of fireworks going on over there. But uh, this is what I really want to see. These things uh, light up in front of the church. So bear with me as Harold investigates Jesus Festival in Peru. The struggle is real as they try to get this into position. So they just started building these about an hour or two ago as I was walking around here. And it takes about four of them to lift it into position. For the sake of the church, good thing it's made of 15th century Spanish stones. Well, obviously Peruvian stones, but I think this church is, is very, very old. I was in there today. Beautiful, beautiful place. And it's probably stood here since the, the Spanish came. All right, it's gonna be a big one here. Let's sit here at a safe distance. So they fired up one of the towers. It looks very strange thus far. It's just burning at the bottom. Jesus. I must say, not as spectacular as I had uh, hoped, but we'll see about this one. This one looks like more fun. All right, now we're talking. Safety first. Wow. So strong. 